Hello everyone. As you can see here, this is the HP Pavilion all-in-one PC. Recently, we got problem in the hard drive, so I will show you how to take out your hard drive and uh, put the new one in. Okay. I believe this one take 3.5 inch set of hard drive, uh, but at this time I'm going to put 2.5 or 3.5 or whatever. So let's show you first. First, disconnect your charger. By the way, if you would like to know the model number, this is the actual one, as you can see here. Okay. So first, we need to get access from this back hole. We need to take out this cover first. So what you need to do, you bend it. Once you bend, then you need a kind of any flat tool, something like that. As you can see, there is a gap. If you bring it closer, don't zoom it, please. Okay. All right, so that's the actual cover. Now, this uh, base, hold this one with the four screws, which is Phillips. We're gonna take this out too. I can get in there and open it. screwdriver scan photocopy please uh, sorry sir can you try next door please and see So four of them already been taken out. Now we can just take it out from here. So this panel already been removed. And one more thing we need to show. If it doesn't come out, you need to take out these two screws, which is the most important. upside down and we need another flat tool which is uh, that one okay uh, we can start from the side any side you can start just spudger it very careful this is quite heavy so if it slip you, you might damage your screen So you can bring it closer son. Since it's coming up. Hopefully. Uh, this side. Okay, so this is the connector for your optical disk drive.
Now, this is the actual 3.5 inch SATA hard drive. Uh, we can take this out and put the new one. Mm, this one, they use the fitted screw anyway. Just help this gentleman while you are doing it. How many copies? Uh, how much is it for one copy? 20. Uh, 30, please. 30? Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to disconnect it by removing this screw. The new hard drive, which is absolutely fine. I can get one from here. This one. We're going to remove this four screws. This is the walking one. It's fine. So now we're going to put it in the place. And just click. Alright. Tighten the screw. Fine. Now we need to reverse back what we actually did. So first is first, we need to put it back, the back panel. And before we put it back, don't forget to connect your SATA connector to the optical disk drive, which is that one. Good. goes actually like this as you can see this time I would like to put it like that and then keep press every single side okay anyway we've done the job it's been opened before close it back Right. 
and now we need to do the same thing what we did before connect it like that good four screws Another two left. For that reason, we need to bend it back. So one more screw, and the hardware replacement will be complete. is the one you to go on place okay. so we replaced it I'm gonna double check um, if there is any gap left the side way So that's how you replace your hard drive, 3.5 inch hard drive for HP all-in-one Pavilion PC. If you would like to upgrade any SSD and if you want to replace your old 3.5 inch drive, you can do in the same procedure. Okay, in that way it might be the caddy is too big because the actual caddy, hard drive caddy came for 3.5 inch. You don't need to worry, you can just put double sided foam tape or something because the 2.5 inch SATA SSD is quite thin okay it's very lightweight so you don't need to worry it, it's not going to make any shaky noise because this one all in one piece it sits on the one place on table or somewhere else anyway so that's all for today thank you so much if you have any comment if you have any other question regarding this model please uh, let me know and also another video is coming uh, regarding this model if you do have three long bit then four short bit okay i'm gonna make a video in next couple of hours so please check in my channel and don't forget to subscribe my channel for my future videos thank you so much for watching and bye for now